Hey everyone, so I'm going to be doing a review today on these plates and the stamper. These come from a store, Envy, called My Online Shop, and they recently released six sets of what they call their Junior Stamping Plate Sets. And the six sets come with five different plates. You can buy these for $30 a set. This is stamping set plate number, or stamping set number one. And then the stamper I'm going to review. Comes with a plastic scraper. And it is a double sided silicone stamper. It's it's soft, but it's not as soft as uh, the XL stampers, which I kind of like because in my experience, they have always tended to start ripping apart pretty easily and they fall out. And this one feels really sturdy. I like the feel of this one. But these are the plates <clears throat> that I received. And I wanted to show you how they come packaged. They're all individually wrapped. They all have backings. They feel very sturdy. I'm going to go ahead and open one up for you. Yeah, it feels very, very thick and nice. It doesn't feel like it would cut you at all. And then it has the blue film. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the rest of these and then I'll be back to uh, give you a close up view of all the images so you can see what's on this um, plate set. And then we'll start, we'll test out some of the stamps. I'll probably test out about two from each plate to show how well they work. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I've got all of the blue film taken off and I don't know if I mentioned the stamper on their site is $7.50 and if you're looking through their stamping plate sets and you decide that you only like like two or three from the set and you don't want to spend the $30 for the entire set, they actually sell each plate individually for $7.50. That way you can just buy the ones you want instead of getting the entire set and you possibly get ones you don't want. So I don't know if I mentioned that, I don't think I did. But I thought I would let you know. So let's go ahead and try out some of these images. Oh wait, I'm going to show you what they look like. This is the first plate from the first set. Here, let me, let me zoom in. I really love this image, so I'm going to be testing that one. It's from The Hunger Games. I love those movies. This is plate number four. Whoops. Plate number five is really cute. It's all about Mickey and Minnie Mouse. This one's like a comic strip. It's got some little uh, words and stuff in there, so I'm curious to see how well that would stamp. Okay. So 
So let's go ahead and start stamping some of these. Back up just a little bit. I'm going to try this one right here. Just because it looks pretty interesting. And one second. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to have a piece of paper beneath my uh, stamping. I need the stamping plate so I don't get any nail polish on my table. Okay. So I'm going to actually stamp these on my nails because I am going to be changing it out soon and I figure I'll just stamp them there. These full nail designs, they're not super, super big, but as you can tell compared to my nail, they're pretty nice size. They're nice and wide. They're pretty long. They probably still wouldn't be long enough for people who have the longer nail beds and who grow their nails out quite a bit. You'd probably still need a double stamp, but for people who have, you know, regular sized nail beds and your nails pretty much just stop growing at some point like mine, they're perfect. They are really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to acetone and I'm going to clean off the plate and the stamper just in case. Another thing about this is it doesn't feel sticky or oily like the double XL stamper does, which I like very much. And I'm going to try her plastic scraper. And let's go ahead and try this. I didn't pick up too well. That might have been me though. I've never really had luck with other scrapers. Hmm. Having a hard time getting that to come clean. I'll try with my what's called my my card. better. Did a little crooked, but it came out. Very pretty. Okay, so next I'll try... I'm going to try this heart right here, just because it's got a lot of fine lines in it, and I want to see how well that works. Picked up. Look at that. That is not wanting to focus. Oh, there it goes. Look how nice that is. It's very crisp. Picked up perfectly. Okay. For some reason, my wipes are starting to leave little fuzzies. I'm definitely stamping these books right here. Books on the shelves. I think that's adorable. 
and I'm in love with that. So, hmm, that didn't pick up too well. Try again. Stamp this on my thumb. Look how cute that is. I love that. Sometimes that also depends on the way you scrape it. Like the first time I scraped it that way, so I scraped a lot of the polish out. Where if you scrape it with the grooves, it usually works pretty good. So most people already know that. I just uh, wasn't thinking when I scraped it. Okay, I think I will do next. You know what? I'm gonna do one of the Hunger Games ones. picked up beautiful. Look how pretty that is. It's so gorgeous. I love that. Okay, on to plate three. I'm stamping in white because I don't know how well black will show up on this. This is Sephora by OPI called Ruby Without a Cause. It's two coats, in case anybody was wondering. And I am stamping with, I don't think I mentioned that either, the colors that I have is black, you can't really see it in there. It's called Cosmetic Arts. The black one is called TGIF. And the white one is called Picture Day. I got these for $1.97 at a store that is local for me called Myers. Some people don't have it. I'm going to try out from this plate. I want to try this one just because it looks fun. So I'm going to scrape this way. So hopefully I won't scrape out any of the polish. There we go. Look at that. That is so cute. Really love that design. It looks very nice. You can see all the little details in it. Okay, I think I need a new wipe. There we go. Okay, next I will stamp. Let's see here. I'm going to stamp this little guy right here. Just because I'm going to put it on my pinky. Picked up. Obviously the whole thing didn't fit on my pinky. My nail is way too small. But it did all pick up and it all stamped over perfectly. Ok, 
Okay, on to plate number four. And I already know right off the bat, I want to stamp that. That looks really cool. Stamps are really nice. And then look, I've got all that left on my my stamper, so the stamper works very good. It cleans up really great. The plates are really nice. Not the biggest fan of the plastic scraper, but then of course I never liked any of the other ones. I always my card always works perfect for me. I'm going to stamp on my other pinky this cute little tiny diamond one. beautifully. And it's stamped even though I waited a little bit. Stamped really nice. It was just perfect size for my pinky finger. Okay. And now to our last plate. Plate number five with all the cute little Mickey Mouse designs. I'm going to actually, I'm going to stamp this one on my finger because I want to see how that looks. And then I'm going to stamp probably Minnie on my other finger since I have two left. And then I'm probably going to use the black and I'm going to stamp this comic one and I'm going to stamp it onto the paper to see how well that works. Because I do want to see how that one looks. Look how cute. Got little Mickey faces all over my nail. That's adorable. I love that image. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not cleaning it right. Okay, and I'm going to stamp mini because I want to see how nicely the little polka dots and her dress and everything turn out. Look how cute! She's adorable. Everything showed up perfectly. How cute is that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black, put my white up, move this over, and we will test out the comic strip one because I'm curious to how well that one works. This one right here. I can barely read that. My eyes are not that great anymore. Okay, let's see how well all that little detail shows up. Oh. Boo. I didn't pick up too well.
Maybe I scraped it wrong. Try scraping the other way. Oops, I'm not in view, am I? Let's see. There we go. I don't know if you can see it. It's upside down, isn't it? Where did it go? It's a little hard to make out, but there's Mickey's face. It looks like that's a car, and he's in it. Mickey and Minnie, maybe. I still can't read it, but you can tell it's a little comic strip. But either way, the plates weren't great. The stamper is amazing. I love it. I'm probably going to be using it more often in my stamping videos. Like I said, this is plate set one, so if you liked the look of this plate, you'll know which set it is that you want, or if you like the look of these plates. And then this is $7.50, and it is a very nice stamper. I didn't even have to prime it. I didn't have to file it or anything. I just cleaned it with a little bit of acetone, and it worked right off the bat. So I hope you all enjoyed this review, and... Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.